Hi, my name is Maria and this is my seventh floss tube, I believe. Welcome to my channel. It is a beautiful day here in North Texas and it's also my birthday. And so I thought what better way to celebrate my birthday than to report a floss tube. Plus I'm a little late, apologize for that to, to those of you that are regular subscribers, which reminds me, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And I do my best to comment on everyone that does make comments. And I so appreciate all of those comments that people make. It helps me uh, know that people actually watch them and I enjoy interacting with each one of you. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Um, so, I know a lot of people have been doing Mania and I've been thoroughly enjoying watching that. Um, I'm doing my own variation, which is, I had decided I would do one new start a week and that would either be Friday or Saturday, depending on what it was. And then, um, I'd work on whips and I know I mentioned last video that I was going to do a whip parade, which I'm planning on doing. I will do the rest of my whips, but you're going to get to see a lot of them. <laughs> today because that's what I decided I was going to do at least for the first half of May. Um, I decided I would pull out one and work on a new one each day. Yes, I have that many and um, and I haven't seen them all yet. I've fallen in love with a few again and those there are some that I like. Yeah, those still need to stay back there, but um, I, it's been a lot of fun. I've seen some progress on a number of them and I've enjoyed them very much. So, um, beginning with May 1, May 1, I did a new start, which it was this one, October House. Uh, it's just one more row and this was fully kitted. And it was a super fast start. I started it on Friday evening when I was uh, chatting with friends, finished it on Saturday. And I FFO'd it on Monday. So it looks like this. I love how this turned out. It is so cute. Isn't that nice? It is a little knitting bag, but you could also store... Um, projects, whatever kind of projects you want in it. It's fully lined. It has this nice little closure. Her directions were super easy and understandable. So highly recommend this. If any of you have one of these, it is a fun, quick stitch and very rewarding. So that was my FFO or fully finished object. Um, on to my whips and these are not in any particular order because I did not keep track of which one I worked on which day um, I did pull out the Savior's Praise I believe that was on May 2nd but I haven't worked on it since um, I've been trying to not it's calling to me so I may actually go back to it but those of most of y'all know what this looks like but in case you don't it's by Shakespeare's Peddler looks like this uh, Teresa Bennett Kitten Stitcher she has a website kittenstitcher.com and love this pattern um, this is being worked on oh I can't remember what the fabric is at the moment just a second it is Sea Fog, 36 count Sea Fog by R&R. &R. And I'm using the called four threads. And as you can see, I did make some progress on it. We'll try and insert a previous picture. No guarantees. Can't see very well. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Looking forward to getting back to it. I'm stitching this one over two. Okay. 
and then also working on I'm still working on the Alice in Wonderland sow by Satsuma Street and this is being done on an ice blue fabric I believe whatever the called for thread fabric was and I'm using the called for threads all fun colors I'm transitioning I think to the floss away bags I do like those better than the tuck bags and I can put my little bits in it um, I still use one of those little thread mats when I'm actively stitching but then I'll put them in the bag when I'm done so this is where I am at Let's see if I can get something to come behind it As you can see, I have made lots of progress on this, but I haven't touched it for the last few days. So, hopefully I will get caught up. Well, not caught up, but finished with that block. And since I believe the last block came out on last, just before Mother's Day? It was either just before Mother's Day. Yeah, I think it was just before Mother's Day, and probably most everybody else is finished with it. But that's okay. I'm enjoying stitching on it. And it is a lot of fun. And I have a fun bag that I had made a year or so ago that goes with it. Love these colors. And then... Let's see my winter Quaker using called for threads oh that's not supposed to, oh yeah it is actually I have a needle minder in here my needle minder and it is holding my needle threader will also hold scissors when I need it to but um, here's where I'm at I need to stand up a little. I worked on that one. Finished up some of the other stuff and then started that block. So I got a pretty good amount done when I was working on it. This is the called for threads and fabric. And for those of you that don't know what it looks like, it looks like this. Sorry for the glare. We got new lighting. Not sure. Um, I have new bulbs and then I have a little light that I've been using for a while. But let me know if the lighting is good or not because it's hard to tell on my phone. Yes, I record on my phone. I tried on my computer the first time. That did not work. So... Anyway, that's one of my whips, or another one of my whips. I have a couple of mill hills that I'm working on. I started them, this one I think I started uh, a year ago, last Christmas. And it is called Chickadees. Looks like this. And that's where I'm at. I use painter's tape on the side because these sides seem to be pretty smooth, but these were very jaggedy, and so it's just on the very edge. So that way it catches it so I don't catch my thread in it. Helps, and it comes, comes off quite easily. So making pretty good progress on that, especially since I haven't pulled it out in over a year. <laughs> And my other mill hill is an ornament. It's one of the Renaissance Santas. This one is called Venice Santa. Sorry. There you go. Isn't he cute? I really like him. I have his... Got a pretty good amount done on him, too. Well, sort of. <laughs> anyway, 
he's making good progress as well. And I'm, I am going to pull these back out. Just been busy doing all the other whips. And doing this helped remind me that how much I enjoyed it. So those of you that are out there, just pull your whips out and start stitching. You might fall in love with it again. Even though I still do enjoy working on new stuff. I have a couple of other new starts and I'll show you those in a couple minutes. This is... Heartstring Samplery's Prairie Life Sampler. I believe uh, uh, there's somebody else that's working on this. And Rachel Vinsel. Hi, Rachel. I don't know if you watch me or not. Anyway, um, I am working on this with called for threads, some DMC, some of the overdyes. And this is being stitched on 35 count classic homespun. And I'm making progress. You have nothing to compare it to. So um, I had not gotten very much far. I had done maybe this and a little bit of this. So I finished more of the words and did the border, started the border, and this little bit. So, I've gotten a good amount done for one day. I don't stitch all day. I have other things I need to get done, so I usually stitch a couple hours, two or three hours in the evening. And that is that one. And like I said, I'm working on that with a combination of DMCs and overdives. This is another Rosewood Manor. This is a Leeds House Sampler. This came out, I don't have the pattern book in front of me. I just did a working copy. Um, this came out market of 2018, 2019. 2018 or 19. And I'd started it soon after. And that's as far as I've gotten. I work, I got these letters done. I think that one as well. And I finished up just a little bit over here. So, yeah. I had had to rip some of this out in one of these sections because I had counted wrong. You know, that's the hard part is I'll put, I'll get frustrated because I'll end up needing to rip something and then I'll leave it and I can't remember exactly what I had needed to rip out. And so then I get, when I pull it out, I get to figure that out, rip it out and then work on it. So yeah, I've been lots of frogging this month. Um, but not because of my current stitching, although there has been some. So anyway, um, I also worked on another heartstring samplery, the Brown Bird Biscornu. I know some of y'all have seen that, if not all of you. Looks like this. I started this um, not long after it came out and I got a good amount done and then I was working away the other night and I'm like, oh, look at how far I've gotten. And then I had to rip out a whole section. So yeah, lots of frogging going on, like I said, but it's okay. All good. Learning. So that's where I'm at. This is a fun, sweet stitch. This is being stitched on, I believe it's 36 count. Oh, I'll find it here in just a second. Yep, 36 count old mill by R&R. &R. And, and it's stitched one over two. 
and I do like it. I love the colors. See the colors on it? I love the red. So I'm using called four colors, called four threads. And since I don't leave things, usually I don't leave things stored in a Q-snapper. Um, and I do stitch some in hand. Um, I think I said that before. I stitch a variety of methods. I'll do in hand, Q-snap, hoop. I have a scroll rod um, that it, I've left attached. So um, that one I am planning on doing a whip parade of everything that is left. And um, that one shouldn't be too long. But um, I do have some more whips that I haven't seen yet. So maybe I'll work on those the rest of the month after I finish my birthday mania, which I will should talk about in a minute. Um, I have, just a second, let me see if I can pause this. I'm back. Um, I have a patriotic piece that I have gotten out of summer 1992 celebrations. Some of y'all may have seen this. This is put out by Leisure Arts, I believe. Yes. And it has a variety of different media. I'd made something similar to this for my brother and his family one year. And when I was first coming back to cross stitch, I pulled this out. Um, unfurl on high the stars and stripes and let all nations see how much we love old glory the emblem of the free and this is designed by Vicki Howard was using called for DMC's I'm using overdides except for the white and you can't really see a lot <laughs> because there's not a whole lot done but I'm using Midnight, Midnight Cherry Bark by Gentle Arts, and this is how far I've gotten. It goes like this. So obviously I have not gotten that far. It's going to be little because I'm doing it on, I think this is 40 count. Nope, 36 count um, Summer Khaki. So... That's what it looks like. And I think I'm using Ecru. Oh, ha ah, ah, ha ah. You're getting to look at the back side of my stitching. Sorry about that. Maybe we'll cut that part out. Um, here you go. Better view. <laughs> Straight stitching. It's, it's not that difficult. And you would think I could show you the right side, but no, well, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'd made myself a working copy of the pattern so I didn't have to keep the magazine out. And this is another goal this summer to finish, do this. And I have a couple other patriotic ones that I have in mind as well. So that got worked on as well. Um, two, oh, actually, let me show you these whips. <clears throat> this is Shooting Star by Carolyn Manning. That's how far I've gotten. Doesn't look like much. I haven't worked on it since the beginning of the month. And I have those on these thread keep things that I also have the key on. And that's taped. That's using that painter's tape again. Jan Hicks uses that. And I thought that was a good idea. So there's that. And my Teresa Koga in command. I have not worked on since the beginning of the month. Um, because I've been working on other things. This is where I'm at. About to start some of her hair. She's beautiful. I think she's so pretty. There's somebody 
in um, one of the one of the Facebook groups that I follow. Um, that's almost done with theirs. It is stunning. It's done on a different color thread fabric. The other one is my other one that's been on regular rotation is my uh, Sam Sarah, which it doesn't look like I've done a whole lot. I had to do some ripping out. And that's where I'm at. I put another, I put a petal in. So, Charlotte's Pink called for fabric and threads. And this is Sam Sarah's. Um, this pattern is still available, though she's not designing anymore. It's called Happy Life. It is a three part pattern I believe but you can order it from her website or um, you can ask your local LNS um, two others this is spring blossom by modern folk embroidery I believe and I've made I had I had about half of it finished and then I sat back and looked at it and I realized the whole section was off. So I pulled the whole section out and put it back in, in the right place. And I really love this piece. I think this is absolutely stunning. This is using Mrs. Seda silks. Um, I think this one is popcorn. And um, the fabric is Demoiselle by Picture This Plus. This is a new color last year, the 2019. And this is 28 count. And it is being stitched one over two, which um, some people may think that's really fine. But if you look at it, her stitches, her fibers are really fluffy so you don't have to overfill it i love her thread which yes i have ordered a bunch of, i was hoping it would get here before i filmed because i ordered some when she opened up her shop again and i can't wait to get it it's on its way hi raquel if you watch and then my last one the, that was started last year during my birthday mania and so is this one. This is Cirque the Circle by Ink Circles. And I think y'all know I love good ink circles. I um, pulled this back out. I don't have, this is a, both of those are PDFs and um, they're on my um, iPad. Let me see if I can get that just a minute so you can see what it looks like. I'm back. So let me pull up the um, Cirque the Circle by Ink Circles and the other one that I was talking about earlier. And um, just a second. This is the one I was talking about. This one, I, this was a birthday start last year. And I am using Mrs. Seda's Silk Darling on this. This is a new color that came out last year as well, I believe. This is Mesa by Picture This Plus. I'm not positive if the fabric came out last year. But this is Mesa by Picture This Plus. This is a 28 count. And I'm doing one thread over two. And this is where I'm at. Currently, I think I had taken a picture the other night. Actually, it goes like this. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. It's so pretty. 
that I'm pulling back out. And the Spring Blossoms by Modern Folk Embroidery. Looks like this. Isn't that pretty? It's done all in red. Here I'm doing it, like I said, in popcorn. Again, colors by Mrs. Seda Silk. And then I had one more new start. And that was Carnation Sampler. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Carnation Sampler. You guys have seen this. Sorry, Liz. I'll try and edit that out. Actually, my husband will be nice and edit that out for me, I hope. And that is this one. This one came out this year at market. Love this pattern. This gave me a little bit of grief, though. For some reason, I couldn't count a straight line. Because it is a long line. And... When I started it, I, no, that's not what happened. I'd used the wrong color. That's what happened. I'm using the called for threads here. And this is where I'm at. Please light. That. It's not very big. So this is on Regency by Picture This Plus. And yes, I had done all these blocks and I did them in the wrong color. So I had to pull them out, but they got put back in. They go in a lot slower than they come out, which is a good thing. Use my happy seam ripper anyway, but it's, it is, uh, it is what it is, and I'm like, I'm enjoying it in spite of that experience. That is a fun stitch. So, what am I doing this week? Um, this week, I'm actually planning on doing a new start a day. And I have way more new starts than I do days. So, oh, but let me back up a second. I started, I had a new start yesterday, because it was the weekend. And that is Penelope's Pin Cushion by Lindy Stitches, Stephanie. And I didn't get very far because I was doing something else. Yeah, but I did get this far. It should not take me that long. It may take me a day, but um, I counted out how long it was taking me to do one of these, so... It's going to take me a good day. I'm not a very fast stitcher, but that's okay. It's a fun stitch and fun colors. Oh, and I'm using the, uh, Don should have inserted a picture in here somewhere or before. And um, it is, I'm using uh, Sulky threads. I converted over to Sulky. I do have all the accessory packs. So I can fully finish it and I have fabric I can use for the back. So um, if you guys are wanting my conversion, I do have it written down. So there it is. And um, ask me and I'll send it to you. So that was a new start yesterday. Now, what am I doing this week? I have a number of things that I am planning on working on. And I haven't fully decided, so you may get surprised still. I am a member of Tudor Rose Sampler Guild, and we had uh, Paulette Stewart come out last fall. And um, she created a special pattern. Some of you have seen it. It's called Adam Names the Animals. 
I have yet to start this and I love this piece. It is not a little tiny piece, but it is fully kitted. And so I am looking at that. That's a super easy start. That's one of them. I have Sweet William by Summerhouse Stitchworks. This came out at market. And I'm using the called for threads, which I do like these threads. And the fabric is just a second here. Got kind of mixed up. I've had this brilliant idea of using a straight knitting needle to hold my threads and I haven't pulled one out yet. I actually don't have very many straight knitting needles. I have um, circulars, not that that matters. This is Confederate Gray and those are called for threads. I think that would be pretty. Isn't that pretty? There's the pattern. So I'm looking at starting that and I don't have all of these in their own special bag yet. This is one that is a definite start. This may be my birthday start. I liked this so much. I got a second one. So who knows? Maybe that will come up as, as a drawing at some point. If I ever get to a thousand. But these are the threads. They're very pretty. And um, the fabric I'm using is Regency, I believe. Or no, is it Fog? It is Fog. I'm using Fog rather than the called for fabric, I believe. It's 32 count. Bless Our Land. This is another patriotic one that I was looking at. And I had fully kitted this up a couple months ago. Um, heart and Hand. Um, this is a Brenda Gervais pattern. And some of y'all have, I know a number of y'all have stitched this, but, um, I've eyeballed this. There's several people that I follow on Instagram and it looks like that. Sorry for the crinkles. I actually don't mind the crinkles. It means something good is coming. And dove gray is my fabric color. And here's my threads. Sorry, they're kind of a mess. And there's the pattern. Gotta put them somewhere. Okay, and then this one I have kitted up for a couple years. I have been wanting to do this. I had done Satsuma Street's Deck the Halls. And I had been, when I purchased that pattern, I had kitted up Joy. Um, it is a PDF. And I, hers is on white. I'm using Grasshopper, I believe. No, Gardens, Gardener's Blend. This is 35 count. And that's, that's the fab, fabric and threads. All DMCs, along with acrylic. Can't see all those, fab, those threads. They're so pretty. Love her color. She's so retro and current all at the same time. Bold and vibrant. So that is one that I am, that would be a Christmas um, design. It's a wall hanging or it'll be a smaller wall hanging than she had um, hers because it is on 35 count. But this is Joy by Satsuma Street. And I have been wanting to start that for a long time. Um, this is another definite. 
because I finished my Stitching by the Sea one, I decided I wanted to do another little project. This one is Summer Night. Looks like that by Hands On Design. Kathy Haberman. And this is Graceful Gray with the called for threads. So that is also a definite. That came out last year. I'm not gonna put it in right now. Have to find some place to put these because running out of space. Um have y'all seen the Cottage Garden series, the Songbird series? I love all of those. Those are so pretty. And I have them all, but they're not all the patterns, but they're not all kitted. But um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of blue, bur blue, blue jays, but I like their blue jay. They're bullies. In case y'all aren't aware of the of the bird, the bird land. <laughs> but um, anyway, I decided I was gonna start with faith because I could use a little bit more. Looks like this. And I dropped one. It called for tin roof, I believe. Yep, tin roof. I didn't care for the tin roof. It was a little green. So I went with Graceful Gray. No, actually this is... Um, my Little Dove, and this is by XJU Designs. I have not used her threads, her um, fabric before. I purchased this a while back and was waiting for the perfect project. So, there it is. And then... I have, this is a possibility, it's another ink circles, it's kind of a mandala, and this is going to be done on laurel green, but I haven't decided for sure what color way, and I may actually change the fabric out, so I haven't fully fleshed this out, and I know I have this week, so we'll have to wait and see if I come up and end up doing that one or not. Um, and then this has been in my queue, like y'all have seen this before, spring salt boxes. This is Edinburgh Antique Ivory, and those are the called for threads. That's what I was going to do it with. That one I was wanting to start. And... A drum. I'm going to start a drum. This is Corkscrew Willow by Legacy. Liberty Hill Farms. Using the called for thread pack. Super simple. I have it. I also have the one that Kathy Haberman did. It uses the same thread pack, and you have enough thread to use do both of them. So, looking forward to doing that. I also kitted up threads. I don't have. I have fa fabric. I just haven't decided, but I have fabric, and I have got the threads to do the Home Sweet Home by Fat Quarter Shop. I don't know if y'all have seen that or not. But um, I think Jan Hicks is doing that one. There's several others that I follow are doing that. And it's just a cute stitch. But I have not decided. Um, so how many is that? I lost count. Four. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I have enough for two weeks. Which could take me almost to the end of the month. And... That would um, 
increased my whips a lot. Um, fortunately, none of them I don't think are as big as my ink circles and a couple of other projects. My um, Savior's Praise. And, um, but those are the projects that I've been working on and where I'm at so far on them and also what I'm planning on doing. I have, like I said, not fully decided whether or not I'm going to start every single one of those, um, these next week or so. I am planning on doing one new start a day, so if you follow me on Instagram, stay tuned, and I'm planning on posting those new starts there, and um, I think that's it. There may be a couple others thrown in just for good measure, just to take me to the end of the month, and then I'm like, um, but what about Christmas? Because I have a lot of Christmas I want to start and finish before Christmas, so Fortunately, I'm working on some of those, and um, I have some other ones that are in my whip pile that I can work on. So, that is it as far as Birthday Mania cross stitch. Um, I do have, have made progress as far as knitting. I had intended on having my shawl done. However, I've got to evaluate how much thread I have left because there's not much because I have like one more section, a half of one of these and one of these, I believe. And so I'm debating on whether or not to just do a half of one of these and a half of one of those. Does that, those of you that aren't knitters, <laughs> don't. Don't understand what I'm saying. That's okay. Um, I'm still debating on what I'm going to do with this because I don't have much yarn left and I'm not buying another skein. So I may just, you know, do just a little bit of the lace work and then finish it off with some more of the other stitch section and call it done. So I tend to be just a slightly looser knitter, I guess, than the called for pattern. So there's that and then my socks I hadn't been doing working on my socks at all and um, we picked Adam up last Thursday evening late uh, so he's home for the summer I'm so excited it's so nice to have him home um, uh, his schedule he um, he was working until Thursday evening he finished up and uh, so we picked him up and all his stuff we did not have him quarantined because he'd been basically um, self-quarantining himself there in the dorm with just a few interactions with his uh, friends there. So we'll see how that goes. And um, so I worked on socks. This is my yarn. This is uh, from Knit Picks. It is a Felici yarn. Colorway is 40346. Anyway, it's purple colorway. It's a self striping. And this was the one that I had I hadn't finished all of the uh, leg portion, much less started the heel. And I finished the leg. I think I was down in here. I finished the leg and started the heel yesterday evening so I made progress on that and on the other one I've already gotten that far and I've gotten the heel and the heel turn now I just need to do the gusset so those of y'all that follow Caroline know this is where she is on her big gray sock and I think she's almost done with that portion so I decided I was going to do two at a time. I have them in two different skeins, so it's working really well, much faster. And that's all the knitting that I'm doing at the moment. But So let's go on to haul. Sorry if this is a long video. I'm trying to do, go fast. Um, while I am still talking about knitting, 
Um, I have a sweater that I had been working on and I needed to do the sleeves. I did not have, um, I prefer to do circulars versus the double pointed needles if I can help it. Um, and so I decided I, for my birthday, I had been given a gift card last year from Amazon. And so I purchased a set of the Chow Gu, um, larger sized circular needles. I already have the small size. I love my Chow Gu's. They're so nice and handy and I can use them multiple ways and they're interchangeable. So for those of you that don't know what that means, I'll show you. Just, just real quick. So, those are your needles. I have two, three inch here. They're, they've fallen out down in here. I haven't had a chance to look at it. So these are your needles. And then you attach them to a cable, which is here. And they're interchangeable. And you can make them longer or shorter. You can also attach the cable length to make them even longer. And it's just, it makes it super, a very versatile package. So those came yesterday. I was so excited to see those because now I can actually work on my sweater sleeves and get that done in time for fall. So um, that was a gift to myself from a gift card that somebody had given me last year. And then I had been wanting to, I want to make a wall hanging here to go here. I'm having shoulder issues, so I'm having issues with lifting my arm, my left arm. Um, so I had invest, I have never used cakes or charm packs or mini charm packs. I've always cut fabric and I have quite a fabric stash, but it requires putting your own combinations together, which I'm fine doing. And, um, I have something in mind to go there. But I, while I was thinking about it, I also decided I would buy some thread some different kinds of packaging for quilting because like I said I'm a multi crafter so that was haul for my quilting I did buy one pattern when I was at the shop a couple weeks ago and this was one I had looked at at market no it did not end up in my market stash but even though it needed to be there I didn't I resisted until now and I decided I wanted to get this uh, Quaker Huswife by Chessie and Me. I love this. I may change up the colors just a little bit. We'll see. Um, but it is a, it's a, I really like that. that. I love the Quaker pattern. So that's something I'd actually considered starting this during this birthday as well. But I'm going to wait a little bit. Um, I've got some other threads that I had been needing, getting some various things up. So, yep, y'all have seen these. And there's one. And I got my Victorian Motto thread pack. This is the limit edition limited edition threads. I want to know how people store theirs. Do y'all store them in the tux bags? Do you store them hanging? Do you store them by color? Um, in just a Victorian motto? Or how do you store your Victorian? How do you store your specialty threads? So that's the limited edition. And then this is the primitive. And I do the half set. I don't do the full. So. There's the green. There you go. Now you can see them all. Aren't those pretty? There's the green. Okay.
I ordered some fabric from that quarter shop. 25 count because I wanted to try 25 count and we don't have them at the shop. So this is oatmeal. And this one is pewter. And last but not least, definitely, I finally ordered a bag from Caroline. I saw this, I've been looking at them and she would keep selling out of the ones that I liked when I could get it. So I saw this one and I jumped because <laughs> I really liked it. So it is, uh, this is from Caroline Off the Grid Needle Arts or Ever Totes. For those of you that don't know her, um, I ordered the full kit with the Tiny Modernist Always Flowers. I love this pattern, I think it's so cute. And I think I actually have, I have fabric. I could do this one as well. So like I said, and it may end up going in this bag. She makes very nice bags. This one is so well made and her corners are turned out and so nice. Look at that. And her nice tag. I need to find out where she gets those. Anyway, and then a notions pouch, fully lined. Very nice work, Caroline. Anyway, that is my haul. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'm hoping to finish up my other whips uh, this week. And I will um, record the last bit of that and get that published as well. Otherwise, y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your mania, and stay safe, stay well, and happy stitching.